everybody, it's Christina. I am trying out a video um, to post on Facebook so people have the opportunity to practice yoga when we're unable to go out to some of the classes right now. I'm sure a lot of your studios have closed down at this point, so we just want to be able to give you an opportunity to practice in the safety of your own home, but have that opportunity to breathe. So what I'd like for you to do is to go ahead and sit comfortably. I'm sitting on a block and what this does, it allows me to tilt my pelvis forward more naturally. It allows my knees to come down onto the mat. Then maybe you can stack the heels in front of one another. Or you can sit off of the block just with crisscross or even have your legs straight out in front of you if that feels better. I want you to sit up tall. I want you to bring those shoulders more in line with your hips and then bring your ears more in line with your shoulders. Place the palms face down on the thighs or they can be face up. Or you can even connect the index finger and the thumb for a nice grounding mudra for Muladhara, the root chakra for grounding and balancing. I'd like for you to close your eyes and then I want you to take a deep breath in and then sigh it out. Deep breath in, and then sigh it out. One more deep inhalation, and just sigh it out with force. And then come to your natural breath. All I want you to do is to notice how the breath is moving up and down, in and out of your lungs. If you have any points of tension as you're sitting here, I'd like for you to direct the breath towards those areas. Give those areas color. So when you breathe in, the color gets big and bold and bright. But then as you exhale, the color starts to dim and fade away as the tension starts to release. And then after a few rounds of breath, maybe the color is so dim you can barely see it, or maybe it's gone altogether. Continue the breathing in and out, fully and completely. And then in a few moments, we're gonna break the breath into three parts. And what that means is as you inhale, you're gonna direct the breath towards the stomach, it's gonna get big. Then the breath will start to move up towards the rib cage and those are gonna come apart. Then it will come up to the chest and the chest will rise up. Then when you exhale, the chest will fall first, the ribs will draw in, and then the little belly will draw in. So everybody together, deep breath in, belly gets big, ribs come apart, chest rises up, exhale, chest falls, ribs draw in, low belly draws in. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Do this on your own. Just have that cognizance, have that awareness that the breath is moving in three distinctive parts, up and down, in and out of your lungs. Full inhalations and exhalations. Just really feel how the breath is moving in and out, all that energy, that prana, that life force that we return, refer to in yoga. That's what I want you to feel. It's starting to bring all that fresh oxygen into your bloodstream, and it starts to heat you up a little bit to get you ready for the practice. I'd like to invite you now to set your personal intention for your practice. You know, the reason why you're practicing, why you rolled out your mat, why you turned this video on. Is it for health? Is it self-love? Is it self-care? Is it patience? Is it mindfulness? Or maybe it's for someone or something else. Whatever it is, think about what that personal intention is, and I want to ask you to come back to it throughout your practice. Continue breathing, and I'm going to strike the singing bowl here. This is a frosted singing bowl for the heart chakra. It's a note of F that gets right into the center. And when you hear the vibration, I want you to think about love and compassion.
deep breath in. Sigh it out. And then inhale the arms up overhead where the palms will come together. Exhale the palms into heart center, bowing your head, keeping your eyes closed. And you can repeat after me if you'd like. Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may our own words, thoughts, and actions contribute towards the happiness and freedom for all. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release the palms face down to the thighs and drop the chin into the chest and bring the shoulders more in line with the hips. Feel how that cervical spine is starting to open up in the back. It's that spine in the neck. And I just want you to breathe fully and completely. And just having an awareness of how the vertebrae feels like it's opening up and how those muscles and tendons in the sides of the neck and the back of the neck are cooling and lengthening. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, begin to lift the chin all the way up towards the ceiling and then drop the head maybe in between just the shoulders. But be mindful if you've ever had a neck injury, you don't have to go that far. We're just compressing the spine and exposing the throat here. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, the chin will become parallel with the mat. And then you can open your eyes here if you'd like. Take your right ear to your right shoulder and then take your left fingertips down on the ground next to you, anchor into your sits bones evenly, then begin to walk the fingers away. Feeling a nice stretch going down the left side of the neck. And if you want to take it a little bit further, take your right hand to the top of the head or towards the ear to pull the ear closer towards the shoulder. And breathe in and out, fully, and completely. Take a breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the thighs and roll the chin down into the chest and then take the left ear over the left shoulder. Anchor into your sits bones, then take the right hand down next to you and begin to walk the fingers away, starting to feel the stretch happening on the right side of the neck. If you'd like, left hand to the top of the head or towards the ear to pull the head closer into the shoulder to intensify the stretch. You can even have the eyes closed here if you'd like. I just want you to be aware of the breath. Full inhalations, full exhalations. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hands come down to the thighs first, then roll the chin down into the chest, and let's do some head rolls. So right here to the right shoulder, take it all the way around. And then when you get your chin down into the chest, I want you to pause here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, take the left ear towards the left shoulder and roll the head all the way around. When you get the chin down into the chest, pause and take it back to the right all the way around. Bring the chin into the chest eventually and just keep going in this direction. Remembering to breathe. If there's any tension, maybe you kind of rock it back and forth and then continue in this direction. And then I want you to make this the last rotation by bringing the head all the way around once again. Once you get the tension of the chest, I want you to pause, take a breath in, exhale, left ear towards the left shoulder, and take it all the way around. And the same thing here. If you need to pause and rock it back and forth, if there's tension, do that, and just keep going in this direction. I'd like for you to remember what your intention was. And I want you to pay attention to how the muscles will squeeze into the bones and how everything is moving here. Start to make this the last rotation, taking the head all the way back around and then bring the chin down into the chest. Once you get there, I want you to pause, take a deep breath in. 
And then as you exhale, lift the chin up and blink the eyes open if you have them closed. All right, take the right hand to the base of the skull. Left hand's gonna to come down on the ground next to you. Anchor it to the sits bones. And start to open up the chest, pulling the arm back behind you and look up towards the ceiling here. Pull the stomach in and the more you pull that arm back behind you, the deeper the twist. Full inhalations, full exhalations. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, come on back up to center, release the hands down to the thighs, then take the left hand, place it on the back of the skull, right hand comes down on the ground next to you, anchor into the sits bones first, then start to twist, opening the chest, looking up towards the ceiling, and pulling that left arm back. Pull the stomach in, and remember to breathe. Full inhalations, full exhalations. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming all the way back to center. And then I'd like for you to inhale, cactusing the arms, pulling them back and then dropping the head back. As you exhale, palms and forearms will come together and then pull up. Inhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Exhale, Palms and forearms together, pulling up and doing this at your own breath. Just as you inhale, you open up. And then as you exhale, you draw in and up. Now for those of you that may have some problems here with your shoulders and you can't get your arms together here, the alternative would be to take opposite hand to opposite shoulder, lean forward to feel how the scapula pull apart, bring the chin towards the chest to pull the belly in. So then you would inhale, cactusing. Exhale, cross and pull in. Because it's the same thing. We're just we're pulling the scapula together as we inhale, coming into cactus. And then as we exhale, either we have the palms pulling up, pulling the scapula apart, or we do the cross and lean in and feel how the scapula pull apart that way. So everybody, inhale, coming into that cactus one last time. Then exhale, doing the version you need. And pull up or cross the arms. And then release the hands down to the thighs. Roll the shoulders forward. And then roll the shoulders back to release that. Go ahead and take your right hand onto the outside of the left thigh. Take your left hand back behind you and sit up tall. Pull the belly in. So your sits bones are anchored down to that block or to the mat. And then Start to turn the head and look over the left shoulder, taking full inhalations and full exhalations, feeling that nice twist there. If you have some flexibility here, you can take that left arm, reach it behind you, and maybe grab for the inner thigh of the right. Full inhale, full exhale. One more breath in. As you exhale, release and take the hands back to the thighs. And we'll do the other side. So left hand to the outside of the right. Then you're gonna take the right behind you. Sit up tall, pull the belly in. Look over that shoulder. And notice that one side's a little tighter than the other. And if you have that flexibility, that right hand can come around maybe grabbing for that inner thigh or not. I don't have as much range of motion on this side. Each side's different, each day's different. Take a breath in. Exhale, come on back to center. And then I'd like for you to go ahead and come off of the block or whatever you may be sitting on if it's not just the mat. And let's come on to hands and knees here for a moment. And I'm gonna move this bowl out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. So coming on to hands and knees. And if you have any type of wrist issues, what you can actually do is just like fold the mat and place your hands on the mat this way to have a little extra padding, or take the palm closer to the edge of the fold, bringing the fingers down on the ground, and that will release some pressure in the wrist as well. 
So from here, what I want you to do is to get your knees underneath your hips. I want you to tuck your toes. I want your shoulders directly over the wrist and then spread the fingers out apart wide. Dig the tips of the fingers, the bottom of the knuckle, the thumb, and the web, and place that into the mat. Keeping your fingers in place, slightly lift the right palm up, set it down, then lift the left palm up and set it down. I want you to sink the buttocks back towards the heels just enough. You may not go quite as far as I am because you're really stretching the back of that foot there, that plantar fascial tendon. And then come back up onto the hands and knees. As you inhale, drop the stomach, then lift the chin up, looking up. This is for cow. As you exhale, the chin will come into the chest, round through the spine. Think angry cat, cool the belly in. Inhale, drop that stomach, lift that chin all the way up. Exhale, chin into the chest, rounding, pressing away from the mat, pulling the belly in. Inhale, drop that stomach, lift that chin up just a little bit higher. Exhale, chin into the chest and round, 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 press away, press away, press away. And then release coming into a nice neutral spine. So what I would like for you to do here is to take your knees as wide as your mat. Untuck the toes, bring the big toes together, and start to sink the buttocks down towards the heels. And you may not go down this far, that's okay. Still makes you a good person. Lock your hands out in front of you, keeping your hands shoulder width apart. Pressing your hands into the mat to get the buttocks closer towards the heels. Then begin to drop the head down. Maybe the forehead comes to the mat. Then ever so slightly pull the shoulders away. And maybe rock the head from side to side. This is Balasana or child's pose. It's a grounding position that you can always come to. Full breath in. Full breath out. Now from here, what I'd like for you to do is take a deep breath in, keeping the elbows off the mat. As you exhale, come on the hands and knees exactly where they are. So you're at like this diagonal position. I want you to tuck the toes, bring the knees towards one another so they're off of the mat. Press your chest towards your thighs, drop your head, and then start to straighten the legs out so you're on the ball of the foot. Press your chest closer towards your thighs and begin to lower the heels down to the mat for Adho Mukha Shavasana, for a downward dog. I want you to start to pedal the legs out here, cycle through them, shake the head yes, shake the head no. I want you to look at your feet. There should be, you know, about maybe three inches between the toes, so it's not that much, so your feet are actually pretty close together. Remember, the weight is in the fingertips, the bottom of the knuckle, and the webbing of the thumb. So direct the weight there so that will release some pressure on the wrist. Now this is bothering your wrist at all. Fold the mat like what we talked about. Or what you can do is come down to your hands and knees, come down to your forearms, and then lift the buttocks up and pedal. So that way it will take the strain off the wrist but then you can still start getting that stretch into the backs of the legs. Full inhalations, full exhalations. Then, if you have the forearms, what I want you to do is just drop down to your knees, walk the hands back in, and then extend the legs, walking the feet forward, coming into a fold. Now, if you're in the downward dog position, I want you to bend your knees, look in between the hands, and just walk the feet forward. Coming into our first forward fold, Bend the knees here just a little bit, shift the weight into the ball of the foot to get the hips more in line with the heels. Release the head down. And if you want to straighten the legs, so you're welcome to, but that's not what it's about. Exhale all of the breath. Inhale, coming into a halfway lift. Fingers can be on the floor. You can have them on your shin as long as you can flatten your spine here or even on your thighs. Pull the shoulders back, lift the chin up. Shift the weight forward. Exhale back down into your forward fold. Then inhale, coming all the way up into standing, sweeping the arms all the way up, pulling up, 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 holding that breath, pull the stomach in, tuck the pelvis down, and start to bend back a little bit. Exhale the hands into your heart center. 
Roll the shoulders up and back and lift the elbows up. And think about the three-part breath here. Inhaling where the belly gets big, the ribs come apart, the chest rises. Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way down into that forward fold position. Inhale once again into that halfway lift that works for you. Exhale back down into the fold. Then inhale coming all the way up, sweeping those arms, interlacing the fingers, steeple mudra, index fingers, point up, pulling up, up, up. Think about that your spine feeling two inches taller. Belly in, pelvis down, and start to bend back, back, back. Back. Exhale, hands in the heart center. Roll the shoulders up. Slide them down. Elbows up. Pranamanasana. Close your eyes if you'd like. Connect with the breath. Three part breath. Inhale, belly. Ribs. Chest. Exhale, chest. Ribs. Belly. Here we go. Deep breath in. Exhale all the way down into that forward fold position. I want you to bend your knees so deep that your chest rests on your thighs, but your buttocks are still up. Then I want you to take the arms out at the sides where the palms are facing down towards the ground. Release the head down. Flip the palms up to face towards the ceiling. And then interlace them and place them on the small of your back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, start to pump them up over. So they may not go quite as far as mine, that's okay. And as you inhale, pull the shoulders away, pinching the scapula together to feel that openness of the shoulders. Now, if you're fine with the legs bent, just stay here. Or if you want more of a hamstring stretch at the same time, start to straighten the legs out and shift the weight into the ball of the foot to try to get the buttocks more in line with the heels. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head no. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands down, coming back into your forward fold or Uttanasana. Inhale, coming up into that halfway lift or Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, back down into your fold. And then inhale, coming all the way up, swinging those arms up, pulling up, up, up. Belly in, tuck the pelvis and go back, 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 back. Exhale, hands into your heart center. Roll the shoulders up and back. Lift the elbows up to broaden through your collarbones. Close your eyes here if you'd like. And think about the three-part breath. Belly, ribs, chest, chest, ribs, belly. Beautiful. From here. Look down at your feet and bring your big toes to touch. And I want about an inch or two separation between the heels. Begin to bring the knees and the thighs together and start to squat down a bit. Look at your knees and make sure that they're actually more in line with your ankles here. So think about sitting in a chair someone's trying to take out from you. Start to squat down a little bit lower. Lift your toes up to feel the grounding right underneath the big toe, the pinky toe. Now on either side of the heel, I want you to pull your shoulders back, which is going to make you tuck your pelvis down and puff your chest forward. Lifting the elbows up like you have Pranamanasana, and this is a variation of chair Uttanasana. Now to take this a little bit further, straighten the arms up, reaching up toward the ceiling, but keeping the squat. Rotate the pinkies in, then look up. Take a deep breath in and out. In, out. Really reach for something. Deep breath in. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. One more deep inhalation. Exhale, forward fold. Separate the feet a little bit here. And what I'd like for you to do actually Take the hands in front of the feet and heel toe the feet to either edge of the mat. Bend your knees deeply, dropping your chest in between your thighs here. Maybe grab elbow to elbow, drop the head, and just rock side to side to release the low back. Release the hamstrings. Breathing in and out, in and out. Release the hands down on the ground. And then roll it on up like the rag doll. Your head will be the very last.
chest thing that comes up. Then inhale the arms up overhead, pulling up, up, up. Pull the belly and tuck the pelvis in and start to go back, 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 back. Exhale those hands back into your heart center. Roll the shoulders up, slide them down. Lift the elbows up to broaden through the collarbones and breathe. Full inhalations, full exhalations. Think about that three-part breath. And I'd like for you to come back to that intention that you set at the beginning of your practice. Take a breath in. Exhale. And then go ahead and bring the feet closer together. So let's talk about hip width. If you have a yoga block, fantastic. If you don't, you can use your fist here. So I'm going to show you with the yoga block first. Place it on the lowest width. So then bring the edges of your feet to wrap around here. Then remove the block. You can do that with the fist, and it's just a little bit different, you know, just like less than a few centimeters. Then come on up. This is what I refer to as hip width distance. If I tell you hip width, I have everybody stepping out because they think that their hips are super wide, but that is not what the case is. They're smaller than you think, ladies. So this is what we're gonna do for hip width. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna be at the front of our mat. We're gonna inhale the arms all the way up. Pull the belly and tuck the pelvis and go back, 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 back. Exhale, coming all the way down into your forward fold. We are going to step, bend your knees, step the right foot back behind you where it's gonna come onto the ball of the foot. I need you to get your left knee right in line with the left ankle. So it's not shifting forward, it's stacked right on top. Your back leg is straight and strong, so pull that up, pull the heel back. And then I want you to energetically pull the feet towards one another. And you should feel everything activate, like in your inner thighs and your glute right here. So this is a runner's lunge. So you can be on your fingertips here, or maybe you can even have your hand on your quadricep right here. I just need everything engaged. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, place the hands down if they're not already there. Bend through the right knee, and then you're just going to step it forward to meet the left. You're going to exhale into your fold. You're going to inhale into that halfway lift. Exhale back down into the fold. And then inhale, coming all the way up to standing, sweeping the arms up, up, up. Tummy in, pelvis tuck, and go back, back, back. Exhale, hands in the heart center. Roll the shoulders up and back. Lift the elbows up. Close your eyes if you'd like. You're thinking about that three-part breath. Inhaling, belly, ribs, chest. Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly. We have two sides. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way down to your forward fold. Bend through the knees a little bit here. And now you're going to step the left leg back. So make sure that your right knee is stacked right on top of the ankle. So don't shift forward. It's directly stacked. Look over your left shoulder to make sure that knee is not sagging, that you're straightening it out and you're pulling that heel back. And then you may have to readjust that knee to get it right in line with the ankle. Now I'll try to drive the feet towards one another to feel the engagement within the buttocks into the hamstrings and the quadriceps. You can hang up here on your fingertips or you can place your hands on your quadricep. Feel how everything's engaged. You may be shaking a little bit. <laughs> so take a deep breath in. And out. In. And out. One more in. Exhale the hands down if they're not already there. Bend to that left knee. And then step the foot forward, and then exhale into your forward fold. Inhale into the half point lift. Pull those shoulders back. Lift that chin up. Exhale down into the fold. Then inhale, coming all the way up and standing, sweeping those arms all the way up. Pulling up, up, up. 
tummy in, pelvis tucked, and bend back, 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 back. Exhale, palms into heart center. Roll the shoulders up. Slide them down. Pull the elbows up here to draw through the collarbones. And then think about that three-part breath. Inhaling at the belly, the ribs, the chest. Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly. Beautiful. All right, from here, take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way into that forward fold. Then we're going to step both of our feet back, coming into a high plank position. Shoulders are going to stack right over your wrist. Look at your feet, make sure they're close together. Zip your inner thighs and pull the stomach in and then look in front of you. So take a deep breath in for one. And out. Everything should be shaking. Deep breath in for two. And out. One more. Deep breath in for three. As you exhale, bend your knees. Send your chest towards your thigh, staying on the ball of the foot. Begin to straighten out the legs, bringing the heels down, coming into your downward dog. I want you to have three breaths of stillness here. So pull the shoulders more away from the ears. Release the head. Take a deep breath in. And out. In. And out. One more in. And out. Now shift back into your high plank. So when you're coming from your downward dog into high plank, your hands and your feet never move. So take a breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your knees here, sending your chest closer towards your thighs. Come up onto the ball of the foot. Look in between the hands and just walk the feet one by one, coming all the way into your forward fold once again. Exhale all the breath. Make sure you're shifting the weight into the ball of the foot to where the buttocks are more in line with the heels. Release the head, shake it yes, shake it no. Inhale into that halfway lift. Exhale down into that fold. Bend those knees deeply to where your chest is on your thighs, but the buttocks are still up. Take the arms out in a T with the palms face down. Flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Interlace them and rest them on the small of the back. Release the head down. Inhale, straighten the arms up as much as you can. Maybe the palms touch, maybe they don't. And then as you exhale, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Pinch the scapula together more. Breathing in and out. If you want more stretch, straighten those legs out, shift forward, almost like you're going to tip over, but don't do a somersault, please. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat. Drop the head, shake it, yes, shake it, no. And then from here, step the feet back into that high plank one more time. Then lower the knees down, coming back into a nice tabletop position. Tuck your toes, get your shoulders over the wrist, fingertips into the mat, bottom of the knuckle, thumb in the belly, pressing in. Keep the fingers where they are, slightly lift the right palm up, set it down, lift the left, set it down so you feel how the suction cut. So inhale, drop that stomach, lift that chin up, going back into our cow. Exhale, chin into the chest, round, pull the stomach in for that angry cat. Inhale, drop the stomach, lift the chin up, up, up. Exhale, chin to the chest, push away, round, 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 tummy in, tummy in. Exhale, coming into a nice neutral position here. From here, cap and feet tucked. We're going to work on that tendon in the back of the foot. And then start to walk the hands back and you can start to lower down. Now, for some of you, this may be absolutely excruciating to be in this position. If that's a problem, you can always have your hands down lifting up. You don't have to go that deep. Or if you take your yoga block and rest it right there on your calves and then sink back, that will release a lot of the pressure as well. So that's an option for you. 
and just take this for a few breaths. If any of you have ever had plantar fasciitis, this is a wonderful stretch. Also, look down, make sure your pinky toes are pointing forward, that they're not trying to get away. And breathe in and out. In and out. Take another deep inhalation. As you exhale, start to come forward with your hands facing on the mat. Untuck the toes, maybe give them a nice little kick. And then we're going to sit into a hero's pose. And maybe you can raise the buttocks down towards the heels and you can sit like this. If this is a little too much for you, what you do is you take that yoga block, separate the knees a bit, and just put the block, you can have it on the highest, or like the second to highest setting, or flat on the ground and to start to lower the buttocks down. So that way it will release the pressure on the knees and maybe take away some of the pressure on the tops of the feet if that bothers you. And just breathe in and out. In and out, sit up tall. All right, deep breath in. Exhale, start to come forward where you're back on the hands and knees. If you're using that block, take the block away, just place it over to the side, and just kind of sit down to where you're going to have your legs out in front of you. So from here, are your legs straight, or do they have a nice little bend in them? If you have a bend in them, chances are that's just the way that your pelvis is formed, and you have super tight hamstrings. To straighten the legs up, if you take a block or you take a folded blanket and sit on that block, then straighten the legs out. That's going to allow you to get them nice and stretched out where you can also sit up just a little bit taller. For the rest of you, if you have your legs on the ground, what I want you to do is to shift to the left, pull all the flesh out from underneath the right, right, pull it out from the left, get underneath both the buttocks. And then I want you to have the feet together where the toes are pointing up like you're standing up and sit up tall, like 90 degree angle. So wiggle around a little bit and you should feel those little hooks. Those are your ischial tuberosities that are within your pelvis. So from here, take your hands just behind your hips, teacup fingers, fingers are pointing towards the toes. Puff the chest forward, pull the shoulders back, thinking like you're pinching a marble in between your scapula. Chin is parallel with the mat, pull the toes, and this is Dandasana. So we're going to take a deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. Exhale. And you can release those hands here. So now we're going to work on Paschimottasana. So, and that's a seated forward fold. I would suggest, if you have flexibility issues, having a yoga strap. Or if you're more flexible, have the block ready and nearby. So, what I'm going to do here, let's say you don't have the ability to touch your toes, or if you do, maybe you're doing it where you're like crunching your shoulders into your ears. I know who you are. You're in my classes. Yes, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Or you can take the strap here, place it around, just fold it in half, or just take it the long part of the strap and just put the center around the ball of the foot here and slide up, holding onto it like horse rings. Sitting up tall, chest forward, shoulders back, pinch the scapula together. Breathing in and out, and this may be enough for you. Or maybe you can kind of wound the strap around the hands, keep the spine flat, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hollow the belly and lean forward a bit, keeping the spine flat and lifting the chin up, and that will help with that, and just breathe. And maybe that's where you want to stay. For those that can reach your toes where your shoulders aren't punching in, see if you can get your hands down on the pad of the foot. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, hollow the belly, pull the shoulders forward, and then pull them back, pulling the toes back. And that's going to be a pretty intense stretch that basically will go from your ankle up through your glute. Now, if you need a little bit more, take your yoga block. It can be the thin block or the fat block, what I have here. You can place it on the ball of the foot, 
or you can even do it with the longer edge here. Pressing in, same thing, deep breath in. As you exhale, hollow that belly, lean forward, pull the shoulders forward, then roll them back, lifting the chin up, and it's a much deeper stretch. So everybody, deep breath in, and out. In, out, one more in, exhale, release the strap, the hands or the block, and just place it off to the side for me. Go ahead and put the feet flat on the ground, bend the knees, shift forward, and have the toes on the edge of the top of the mat. Go ahead and begin to lay down on your backs, and then walk the feet in closer to the buttocks. So we're going to do a little bit of spinal twisting. So if you have things on the sides of your mat, do a little house cleaning. Bring the knees together and the ankles together. And then you can either cactus the arms to anchor the shoulders down where the palms are face up, or you can bring your hands out at a T. It's up to you, however it feels comfortable and how much space you may have to work with. Take a breath in, hold the breath, knees together, and start to drop them towards the right side, anchoring your shoulders down so the shoulders never come up. So it's not about getting the knees on the ground and then maybe looking towards the left. You can close your eyes here if you'd like. And just breathe, let your body weight do it for you. This is a passive stretch. Full inhalations, full exhalations. I'm gonna be here for just a few more breaths. Last breath, deep breath in, hold the breath, bring the knees back to center, and you can exhale, looking back up towards the ceiling. Take another breath in, hold the breath, and drop the knees down towards the left, anchoring the shoulders down on the ground, and then you can exhale, then you can look maybe towards the right. Full inhalations and exhalations. If you find this hard, trying to keep your legs from not falling down, or it's bothering you, if you put the block right underneath the thighs right here, I'll show you from this direction. If you were to take your yoga block and just stack it right there, that way it can support the weight of the legs, then you don't have to worry about going so deeply and it protects the low back. So just continue the breathing in and out. Close your eyes, relax. Take another deep breath in, hold the breath, bring the knees back up to center, exhale, then bring the knees into your chest, wrap your arms around them and just rock from side to side here, getting a nice spinal massage, enjoying that. And then go ahead and take the feet down, then walk the feet closer to the buttocks, and then I'd like for you to take your yoga block if you have one, and just place it in between the thighs here. If you don't have a yoga block, use like a couch pillow or something, just something that you're gonna squeeze together. Your hands are gonna be down at your side. You're looking up. Inhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze that block. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, lower the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Just keep going with your breath. As you inhale, you lift the hips up. As you exhale, you bring them down. These are called bridge dips. I'm having you squeeze something because that's going to keep your legs together versus having them splay out and not get the full benefit of the posture into the back, your core, and even into your buttocks and your calves. If you want to add on, the next time you inhale, when you lift the hips up, Raise the arms up and let the backs of the knuckles touch the ground behind you. And then as you exhale, the hips come down and then the arms will come back down at your sides. So doing this on your own pace, with every inhalation, everything opens up. And with every exhalation, everything closes back down. Keep going back and forth, just having the movement with the breath. It's slow, it's methodical. And if you need to take pauses, go for it. This is your practice. You're in charge of your body. And just a few more here. And the next.
next time you get your hips down onto the ground, stay there. Remove the block. If you had the block in between the legs or a pillow or whatever you may have been using, bring those knees back into your chest once again and just rock it from side to side, enjoying that little stretch. And then go ahead, stop rocking. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your forehead into your knees, touching yourself into a tight, tight little ball. Exhale, release the head down first, nice and slow. And then go ahead and extend the legs out straight. The arms will be at your sides, little ways out, maybe at a diagonal with the palms up, coming into your Shavasana. And I want you to breathe in and out, close the eyes, and just feel your body relax and melt into the mat. As you're lying there in your Shavasana, I'm going to go through a guided meditation for you, just to aid within the relaxation. I will be using the singing bowl to help with that vibration to get you into a more deeper state of relaxation. We're going to focus on love and compassion. We're going to focus on the heart chakra, Mahatma. So as you're breathing in, I want you to imagine this big green light that's at your chest. Every breath in, it gets bold and bright. And every exhalation, all that bold and bright light directs directly back into you. You're feeling warm and you're feeling love and compassion, all of that self-love. So as you inhale, it gets bright. As you exhale, it all draws in. And just keep that thought or that visualization and just feel nothing but love and nothing but gratitude for yourself for rolling out your mat and going through a yoga practice. Maybe you're using your bottom arm as a pillow. 
I just want you to take a moment of reflection, a moment of silence here, to think about what you've learned about yourself during your practice. Not just about, you know, the physical aspect of the asana practice, where you went in and out of posture, squeezing your muscles into your bones, but what did you learn about yourself, like your inner self, from an emotional and a mental standpoint, that more of that higher consciousness? And come back to that personal intention that you set, Take a nice deep, deep breath in, and with your top leg and your top arm, press yourself up into a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. See you next time. Bye.